Hello and welcome to physics problems one by one. So here is a problem. As always, read it, maybe once, maybe twice, and then pause the video and try to solve it yourself. Today's problem is about average speed, but I decided to... We solved recently the problem about average speed, but I decided to come back to this topic to cover it again. So, in this case we have some distance, some time, and we know that the certain proportion of this time we travel with velocity v1 and another certain proportion of this time k2 we travel with velocity v2 and finally the last section, another proportion uh, we travel with velocity v3 in this case k1 is 0 0.9, k2 is 0, 0, 0.05 and k3 is 0, 0, 0.05 as well so I of course can put 0, 0, 0.015, v1 20 v250 it would be unreadable solution that's why I always solve everything in characters and I plug the numbers in the very end um, another thing that I want to mention is that k1 plus k2 plus k3 is equal 1 in this particular case 0 0.9, 0 0.005 and 0 0.05 all together the same like 90%, 5% and 5% ok so if this is the proportion of the time, so the time itself is k12 this time is k2t and this time is k3t so those are real times and so the distance that covered from here to here is v1 multiplied by k1t this distance is v2 multiplied by k2t and this distance is v3 multiplied by k3t and the uh, total distance of course is d and this total distance is the sum of those three I just simply add those together v3 k3t and I can simplify because I can factor t out and then I can say v1 k1 plus v2 k2 plus v3 k3 and basically this is an average speed because the v average equals this d divided over time so time and time those will be gone and bracket will remain and inside the bracket let me write it fully so So the bracket would be this, plus this, plus this third one, and t would be gone, and so this would be average speed. So v average would be um, k1 v1 plus k2 v2 plus k3 v3. And so this k1 is some kind of a number proportion. So this is called weighted average. So because we travel most of the time, in this case 90% with the first speed, this would be more important if this is the case. So let's plug the numbers and we will receive v average equals 0 0.9 multiplied by 20 plus 0, 0, 0.05 multiply 50 plus 0, 0, 005 multiply 100 and of course the average becomes this is 18 this is 2.25 and this is 5 so the average becomes 25.5 
And of course, that's what should be expected because 90% of the time we were traveling with the first speed. And because we were traveling with the first speed, it produces the most weight. And you will hear this weight at other edges all over for the rest of your life. So this is one of examples and this is why I decided to come to this. Uh, but another case, what if k1 equal k2 equal k3, they're all the same and they're all one-third? Well, in this case, the formula becomes v average equal one-third, and here would be v1 plus v2 plus v3, and if we plug the numbers, other speed would be one-third of 20, 50, and 100, it would be 170 divided over 3, and roughly it would be 56 point something. So it would be 56 kilometers if they were traveling equal times. But because they were traveling 90% of the time with a small speed, that produces the most important input into the average speed, and the average speed is very close to the first speed. That's a good example if you travel in the city and the traffic and your speed is 90% of the time is 20 kilometers an hour and then you 5% of the time drive in suburbs with, five, uh, with 50 kilometers an hour doesn't affect much even if you drive another 5% of highway with 100 kilometers an hour your average speed would be 25.5 would be the most contributing factor would be the speed in the city because it's for the longest time. Let's conclude this problem. Thank you very much for visiting. Please don't forget to subscribe, to click the bell, to click the like, and I see you next time. Thank you.